Welcome back to Why in the Morning Special. Thanks to Hilda Watiti and Joy Muchachi for that uh, amazing uh, breaking views segment. Uh, always starting our Wednesdays on a laughing note. So if you happen to interact with a video that you think might go viral or break the views, just send it to us on White 54 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White 54 on Facebook. I'll keep saying this and don't forget the hashtag strength, uh, strength of a woman, Why in the Morning, and Quinn's Wednesday. It's about that time for Strength of a Woman, as I said. And uh, my first strength of a woman of the day, because I have to, goes by the name E minor. She's a mathematician, <laughs> a finance <laughs> a specialist, uh, the list goes on. Yes. Karibu sana. Thank you. So if I've missed anything, you, your camera is number four. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank so you. just list all your credentials and then say Eve Minor <laughs> at the end or Eve Nadra. Uh -huh. So I'm um, Eve Minor, an mm -hmm. entrepreneur, mm -hmm. uh, uh, finance person, mm -hmm. credit management, mm -hmm. everything matters business, yeah. All right, so you're a credit manager as well. Yes. We have a credit crisis in Kenya, by the way, <laughs> if you've realized. I know, I know. Yeah? Yeah. The government is borrowing Everyone and, is and borrowing. the citizens are borrowing yes, as well. Yes. Who's going to pay the debt? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is not the reason you're here today. So uh, your your Instagram handle is Eve Natra. Yes. Uh, but your ID or Duma number says Eve, Eve, Eve Minor. minor. Yeah. Where did Natra come from? Natra is just a nickname uh -huh. I got from my friends. You got from your friends? Yes, it means rare. It means rare. Yeah. So you're a rare kind. I believe so. <laughs> All right. Do you have any reason to believe a certain story or a certain backstory where this name came from? Why your friends came up with this name for you? Ah, uh, maybe because like uh, when they ask, like, do you want to go out? No. Do you want to do this? No. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'd have like a different plan from what they used to do. Uh -huh. So they kind of thought you that, had your vision uh, yeah, fixed on something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The reason I ask this is because uh, do you think this is a very, this is uh, an important trait for an entrepreneur or a business person? It is because you you've, you've got to be different. Mm -hmm. Like you can't just follow the crowd. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. Because not everyone has the same vision as you. As you. Yes. So if somebody sitting out there and is always the type of kuna uh, form na come kuna form na come that is not. Uh, somebody who should get into okay, business. Okay, once in a while, it's not bad, but mm -hmm. I don't think that will be... Because now you know when you go out, you're spending... Mm -hmm. uh, spending is a bad thing spending, for business. Especially if, if you hadn't planned for, for it, you know. Uh -huh. Like you have to lay out your plans. You no, know, this amount will go to this. Uh -huh. So now if you go out, you spend the amount you, you were supposed to spend on your food, you mm -hmm. spend it on drinking and stuff. So. so spending is a bad thing, especially if it's unplanned spending. Yes. Wow. We already have advice from Eve Nadra herself. <laughs> Check her out on Instagram, Eve underscore Nadra, uh, for more information. But let's focus on your journey. You quit your job at 22 yes. to get into business. Yes. All right. Uh, what, which job were you doing first? Uh, I was working in Ministry of Land. Mm -hmm. I was doing data entry mm -hmm. for the title deeds because they were uh, still doing manual title deeds. Mm -hmm. They hadn't upgraded the system. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I was part of the group that was doing that for All three right, months. With a background in uh, finance, uh, background in finance, you love mathematics. Yes. And uh, yes, everything, numbers. How did you end up in the Ministry of Lands? I expected you to be a banker or something. Because uh, no, uh, after campus, it's really hard to get a job, you know. Uh -huh. So now any job you that you get, you do anything that comes your way. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I did that for three months, mm -hmm. and then I quit. And then you quit. Yes. All right, what drove you to quitting your job? Because uh, so many people would get comfortable. At 22, if I had a salary, I don't think I'd quit my job at 22. Uh, I wasn't comfortable because mm -hmm. uh, I, was, I was not being paid a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So I really had to find something else to do. Mm -hmm. So expenditure yeah. was this way, income was this way? Yes. Or this way? <laughs> anyway. All right. So uh, you had to quit your job to chase your dream. Yes. At this particular point that you were quitting your job, did you know what you were going to do next? I actually had no idea and I didn't have money. Mm -hmm. So I quit in 2016, December. Mm -hmm. So come 2017, January, I was like, okay, now everyone is going back to work, people are going back to school. I have nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. So that's where my journey started in 2017, January. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. What is the first business you ventured in when so you were quit? Okay, so I, I, I have some links in, in town mm. uh, for people who sell shoes in wholesale. 
So I just went to one of my friends and I asked her, I don't, I don't have money. Mm -hmm. Can you give me one of your shoes? Mm -hmm. uh, I just post it online and I'll see how it, uh, I'll, I'll see the response from it. Mm -hmm. So I took a very good picture. Mm -hmm. I posted it. Uh, my friend has a group in WhatsApp mm -hmm. for now wholesalers who sell online. Mm -hmm. So I posted it. Everyone liked it because it was it was a multi-purpose shoe. It was for ladies, so mm -hmm. uh, they could go to, to with it to school for high schoolers mm -hmm. and still for weekends for people who are still in campus. Mm -hmm. So it went viral. I sold uh, I sold a lot of those shoes. Okay. Uh, and this yeah, particular type of shoe. Yes, just one. All right. So uh, you have an eye for good good shoes. Yes. yes. This is something very important when you're getting into the fashion business. Yeah. A good eye. Yes. So it's your good eye that led you to pick in this shoe. And this shoe went viral. And from this shoe, you made your first capital. Yes. Remember, I didn't have money. Uh -huh. So now, I, uh, the money I used to get from the shoes, they, like, they, they really sold out those shoes. Because mm -hmm. uh, the money I got, I got from that uh, particular uh, venture, mm -hmm was enough to start to get me started because uh -huh. I got like uh, should I say this on TV I got like 200k in a uh -huh. week because uh -huh. the, the shoes were in boxes of 60 pairs uh -huh. so I saw them I saw them and then I got uh, so capital you doing something random like walking into a store you see a good shoe you see you say ah this is an opportunity right here yes. you take the shoe you go back and use the online tools that people are using to chat and make fun and share memes mm. use it to start a business yes. and you make 200k in a week, in yes. a week yes. and start another business yes wow there's hope for us, man. Don't be chatting on WhatsApp if it's <laughs> not about the money, man. <laughs> white 254 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and white 54 on Facebook. Don't forget the hashtag strength of woman, and don't forget the hashtag why in the morning, and don't forget the hashtag Queen's Wednesday. So we have e Eve Nadra. Check her out on Instagram, Eve underscore Nadra. She's a businesswoman, and she's here to share a story with us just to inspire. All right, so uh, after this, what is the next business you get into? So I get the uh -huh. money, uh -huh. the shoes now are sold out, I can't sell any more of those shoes. Uh -huh. I go to another man's store, uh -huh. uh, he had some dead stock. Uh -huh. I took a very good picture of that shoe, uh -huh. I posted it again. Uh -huh. It still went viral. Uh -huh. So I got uh, uh -huh. 300k from that, uh -huh. so now I had 500. You were 22 years at this time? I was 22, yeah. Wow. How are you running this business? I bet to make uh, to make 200K or 300K, you have to supply a huge number of shoes, yeah? Yes. Uh, what were some of the channels you're using to supply your shoes and uh, get them to customers and just keep your accounts and, and do things like that? Run, run it like a business. So first, I, I, I really had to uh, get trust from those people I was getting their shoes from because uh -huh. now I didn't have money. Uh -huh. um, and then now, from from the clients I got from the first uh, from the first uh, bunch of shoes I sold, mm -hmm. I created a WhatsApp group. Uh -huh. So now they are the people who sell online on Facebook. Uh -huh. So now they are on my WhatsApp group. I post the shoes to them. They uh -huh. post it online. Uh -huh. Yeah. And some of these so it was a chain. A big yeah. So you created a WhatsApp group. So you post the stuff in the WhatsApp group. Then yes. people in this WhatsApp, WhatsApp group, group are dealers. They pick the pictures and post them on their platforms. Yes. Wow. You were doing this thing for the first time. For it's not like you were, you were trained in it. Yeah. After all this process, what have you learned from this process? Before we can carry on with your story, what did you learn from this process? Uh, one thing I learned is never wait for the time you'll say like i don't have capital to start my business mm -hmm. you don't need capital to start any business mm -hmm. yes you can always do it yes. be creative enough yes what is another important thing that you learned from this process what i learned from this process was uh like taking chances because uh -huh. now when i was leaving my, my my job i didn't know what to do uh -huh. but i quit anyway Right. I'm not advising that anyone should quit. Uh, uh, but it's always, yeah. if you want to be rich, if, yeah. if you want to increase your chances of being rich, yes, you have, you to, have to start it. a business. Yes. Take chances. High risk, high risk. That is the yeah. word from Nadra, uh, Eve Nadra herself. Eve, very rare. So maybe we can scroll down. I see from your Insta bio, 
Best Countrywide Performance CCP <laughs> for in 2017. CCP it is, is a, an accreditation. Credit, but yeah, uh -huh. it's for credit management by CASNIB. Uh -huh. I was awarded as the best student in the country for the best four. student in the country. Yes. Wow. Uh huh. I bet employers would be very lucky to have you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, from so. here, I can tell <laughs> so you, some of your hobbies are traveling. Yes. Mm -hmm. You like travel? I, I like traveling. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is the and best destination you've been to in this country? I think Kenya. Sopa Lodge, Naivasha. Sopa Lodge, yes. Naivasha. Yes. Naivasha is a good destination, yeah. Very we should try it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, another destination in Kenya that you f fall in love with? Um, there are actually a lot of places in Kenya. Tafaria Castle uh -huh. in Nyeri, uh -huh. that's also a very nice place. Uh -huh. Yes. Tafaria Castle in Nyeri. Yes. Very important. Yes. Uh, this is somebody who looks very familiar. That's St. P. St. P. That's uh, Frida from KTN. Uh, yeah. Who else? Uh, that's me. <laughs> this is you? <laughs> yes. Wow. That's just a random photo. This is just a random photo? Yeah. Uh, okay, I won't ask too many questions. But how is that you? You're like Beyonce. You have, you are three, two different women in one body. Yeah? I know. You can, <laughs> all right. You guys find that. Eh? It's like having two girlfriends. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, maybe we can go back. I like this. I've seen uh, guys from Elani on your Instagram. I've seen guys from Hat the Band. I've seen St. Pete. Uh, you seem to be having so many musician friends. Are you a musician? I'm not a musician. I actually can't sing. You can't sing to save I your life. I just happen to know a lot of producers. You just happen to know a lot of producers? Yes. Wow. How do you happen to know a lot of producers? How, do you have an interest in music or the business? Pause that. Pause, 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 please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. Do you... Uh, do you have an interest in music business? No, no. Not, not really. really. Not really. But I think we need, the music industry needs a savior. Uh, somebody who's going to bring the a business. A can sing. No, no, a savior who can bring the business to the music. We have the singers, but we need somebody who can bring the business to I them. think the, the problem with musicians is uh -huh. now when they get famous, uh -huh. they, they feel like they have to uh, be obliged to spend. Now, if you take someone out, you have to, you're the musician, you're the famous one, you have, uh -huh. to, you have to pay their bills. And actually, they don't have money. Uh -huh. So it, they really live. Uh, stay on your lane. Yes. Just stay on your lane. Like don't, feel the, really don't feel the pressure. Of, yes. of showing out yes. or showing off as an artist. Yes. Very wise words from a business uh, business queen and a financier. All right. So uh, this, these pictures. What is happening here? Are you this a family is, person? No, no. This is an advert. I just. This is an advert. Yeah. So you're a model as well. <laughs> <laughs> model, really. No. Uh -huh. But um, I just be. I just love being vast and. Different. All right, you just like to experiment and yes. do things. So this was your daughter in the in the advert. Yeah, in the advert, that was my daughter. Hmm. Yes. I, I was a bonding. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty hard because I had met her for the first time that day. Uh -huh. So yeah, but uh, it went on really well. It went on really well. Yes. It was a, a tea advert, yeah. Yes. I like this. I like this. Yeah. So did you have to go for auditions and everything? Uh no, like they were just like. Uh, we need we need a we need a model for tea and stuff, uh -huh. and I was like, yeah, I can't. Somebody try. who looks like a family person. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you switched your hair and just <laughs> switched your dress, and you look like fit a, into character yeah. so perfectly. Anyway, fast forward, you have your you're still running your shoe business right yes. now, and uh, you have three shops set up. Yeah. You're still running the online business. Yes. But you give so much credit to WhatsApp as a social media platform. Yes. People sleep on WhatsApp so much. Uh, people assume Instagram and a post. Instagram is for pictures. Facebook mm -hmm. is a market with over 3 billion users. Tell us the secret. Is it in WhatsApp? Is WhatsApp is the future of business? Yes, because mm -hmm. now you know WhatsApp, a lot of people are on WhatsApp. You can mm -hmm. find your mom is on WhatsApp, but she's not on Instagram uh -huh. or Facebook. But most people are on WhatsApp. Everybody's on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Everybody with a smartphone is yes, on WhatsApp. Everybody, on, everybody with a smartphone is on WhatsApp. I bet it's the most visited app on yes. everybody's phone. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. So if you can get people's attention on WhatsApp, you're good to go. You're good to go. Wow. Wonderful, man. So, uh, women in business. All right. Being a woman in business, mm -hmm. obviously you've faced some challenges. Yeah. You've faced some discrimination. It's the world we're living in. Yes. First, maybe you can share with us your experiences. 
things that you've gone through as a woman that you think if you were a man, nobody would dare? Yeah, of course, uh, when you get clients that have other intentions. So it's always about other intentions. <laughs> It's always about other intentions. My <laughs> brothers, when are we going to stop? All right, so if you meet clients who have other intentions. So you've met clients who've had other intentions. Every day. Every single day. So now, uh, when you show them no interest in what they are looking for, they stop being your, being your client. Because uh -huh. now, uh, they feel embarrassed the next time they come. Uh -huh. They'll be like, ah, oh, this chick uh, rejected me, so... Uh -huh. Yeah, for a man, <laughs> that's, that's an, an ego. <laughs> <whatever. laughs> you just talked about rejection. I remember the song by Alvindo. <laughs> the song that was banned. Oh, okay. All right, anyway. So, uh, have you found a way to cup this? Oh, there's no way you can cup this. Because I'm pretty sure so many other queens are going through the same thing. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is there a way to cup this? Is there a way to always uh, just come out and say it? Because uh, somebody told me, the problem, uh, I don't want to be misquoted, but somebody told me the problem is that with, with these kind of cases, I don't mean to s only women or men, uh, I don't mean only women, but in women and men as well, when they face such things, because also men face the same thing, yes. the problem with people is playing along. People play along and give the other person a wrong impression. Yeah. So, do you think there's a way of covering this first? Hmm. It's really hard because now you, you can, you, there's, there's instances where you find like your biggest client mm -hmm. is the very same client that wants to. Uh, People are crafty, yeah? Yeah. At the end of the day. So, now you're afraid of losing him as a client uh -huh. and also you're afraid that. Uh, what about just coming out from the jump and saying, okay, uh, I sell shoes, I don't sell my body? <laughs> You can do that mm -hmm. and still, uh, that's, that's really possible actually. Mm -hmm. I have done that a lot of times. But now, like how, how what do you do after that? Mm -hmm. Like after you tell uh, a guy that I don't, I don't sell my body, I, I, I sell shoes, mm -hmm. you know. Now you don't like, then the act immature is and then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then later you don't act immature and be like, I'll never talk to you again or what. You just keep the communication to make him feel comfortable mm -hmm. around you again because now you've like... All right. Yeah. So it's very tough to be a woman in business. It's very tough, actually. All right. Yes. Do you think it's any easier for, for the men? Just... For the men, it's tougher, you know. It's tough. <laughs> All right. The pressure of making it, you know. Uh -huh. Yes. Because oh, the society puts a lot of pressure on your yes. shoulders to make it. Yes. And uh, all right, people expect you to be the provider. I understand. Mm. All right. So uh, anyway, uh, as a woman in business, still, I'm still focused on being a woman in business. Uh, do you think <laughs> people will claim that women are better managers? If we had a woman president, I've had this so many times, we could be, we could be better off. That's very true. That's yes. very true. Yes. Why do you say that? Because women naturally multitask. Uh -huh. they, ca they can... I've uh, had this so many times. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know, I uh -huh. know, but it's true, however uh -huh. cliche it may uh -huh. sound. But uh, you'll find a woman has a lot of responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Uh, she goes to the office, she mm -hmm. checks on her business, on her family. She probably has everything. a baby. But now for a guy, it's mm -hmm. different because now he's just focused on what he's doing mm -hmm. and providing. That's all. Focus on what you're doing and providing. Yeah. But uh, as, uh, from where I'm sitting right now, I have a friend who was raising the daughter. Mm -hmm. I, I met him on Sunday. I was really surprised he lives with his daughter. The mom is not around. Yes. Uh, the mom walks out of town. She comes over the weekend. Uh, so I think times are changing also. Uh, definitely, yes. Uh -huh. I, I think most men are now uh, open to such stuff, <laughs> like stay at home dads or what. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, as you have, yes. How can people get, to get a hold of your business online? Oh, online, you can just find me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm just on Instagram, actually. Even at and Twitter, yes. Uh -huh. There's Twitter, no page for the business. Not, there's no page for the business because mm -hmm. I don't do, uh, like, the, like I only do WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Through WhatsApp, guys, it's when they post. All right. So now if I do the uh, online business like Facebook and Instagram directly, mm -hmm. uh, I'll cut them short, you know. you cut them short. Yes. You like it when people are eating. Yes. People have to eat. Yes. All right, so uh, you're a woman in business, and your business is, you have physical shops, and you also uh, your business is also based online. Yes. So uh, 
running an online business right now in Kenya. Somebody told me uh, Facebook is the future marketplace. Fe Facebook is a marketplace. It's the future. Uh, what is the importance of moving? Do you think people need to move their businesses online? People who have physical businesses and they have shops, they're distributing things to people around their neighborhoods. Do you think it's necessary for them to move their businesses online as we move to 2020? Yes, it's very important, but they should not also forsake the physical the physical business because uh -huh. it's important because most people are not online uh -huh. as we think because uh -huh. uh, as I give you an example, your mom may be on WhatsApp, but she may not be on Instagram. Uh -huh. So the physical shops, it's very also, it's also very important, uh -huh. but also online, so long as you're legit, it will work out for you. All right. Yes. Thank you very much for coming through. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate you so much. One last thing. Just remind them how they can find you uh, on Instagram and how they can get a hold of your of your products. Okay. Mm -hmm. On Instagram, it's at Eve underscore Nadra. Mm -hmm. And Twitter, it's Eve Minor. Eve Nadra uh, or Eve Minor. So Eve underscore Nadra on Instagram. Yes. All right. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for uh, having there's me. There's a question uh, that I really wanted to ask. Uh, you focus on men's, men's, men's shoes, yeah? Yes. Why men's shoes, in a few words? Men's shoes, because mm -hmm. they have a better profit margin, mm -hmm. and also men don't change their mind easily as we know. <laughs> <laughs> Wise words <laughs> from a queen right there. If you're going into business... <laughs> All right, he says focus on the men. Men don't change their minds so easy. Uh, the wise words from Eve Nadra. Find us at Eve underscore Nadra on Instagram and uh, get more of her story. This is Chant of Woman. We're coming back with another one, so don't go nowhere. Don't touch that out. Thank you. Thank you. You have your phone with you.